Hey guys, Tails of Creed here, and welcome to Trails of Cold Steel, which I'm sure you guys know I did a Let's Play this pretty much two months ago, I think it finished up. And uh, now we're here again because just the other day Xseed released this game on Steam and other sites for um, just to release the game on PC. And this is not a direct port, which is kind of why I'm making this video and I kind of want to go over it. Um, this is not a direct port, this is actually a pretty much a rebuilt version of the game. It's actually what I consider the uh, most optimal version and pretty much the definitive version of the game. And the reason I say that is things I'll go over as we're going in and I'll just talk about it. Um, but to start off with this though, um, I will go ahead and start with the um, the intro of the game because I feel like the intro of the game is a pretty good way to kind of showcase everything. Um, so, like, the first very noticeable thing is uh, the game runs in 60 FPS. So, that's a really cool thing. Um, I will probably flash up the... The, um... Different kind of... Um... Can't think of the word right now. The, um... Uh, the graphic settings and all that because it's very, very, like, hefty. Um... This game was originally released on the PS3, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, it didn't look the most amazing. It was just kind of, just kind of a game, and it's a, it's a really long game. It's a really good game, but it didn't look the best. So this port kind of like, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be talking over all the cutscenes because I've done a let's play this game, so it's no big deal. But this this port, well, it's not even really a port. It's like a new version of the game really um, kind of like picks certain parts that are not that great and kind of work on it. Like the graphics, they're not like crazy better, but they are a lot better. Um, the game run originally ran only at 30 FPS. Now it runs at 60 FPS and it looks really, really good and I haven't experienced any issues really at all. Um, shadow options, I'll go ahead and flash up the, the uh, graphic settings, but there's shadow options, there's... Um, the frames, there's FOV slider, which is really cool. I actually have the FOV set to, um, like 70, which I think is the max, which I thought was a little weird at first, but it actually works really well, and you get to actually, like, move the camera around, where in, like, the PS3 version, you couldn't really move the camera around at all, so. I'm kind of rambling on already, but this is kind of the point of this video, is I really want to showcase this version of the game and like talk about it and show what's different and how good it is like how great this version of the game is and why I really think this is like the definitive version and one I really highly recommend even though it's a little more expensive than what I expected on Steam but honestly with all the work put into it I think it's worth it so but let's go ahead and skip most of this since we we know all this um, obviously visual difference is pretty, uh, noticeable. You can see that the models look better. Um, the... The artwork, I mean, it's all pretty much like everything's up and looks really good. Um, I remember getting into this menu right away and being like, Oh, it looks so good. Um, so I've played like around two, three hours already. So, um, I've played a little bit, so I, I know kind of what I'm talking about. Like, I haven't gotten to, like, Keldic or anything, but I've gotten a decent amount. I've been the prologue, pretty much. Um, so, right away, as you can see, the FOV is at 70 for me, which is the max. Um, you couldn't do this in, in the PS3 version. You couldn't, like, change the camera around and look around and everything. This was the coolest thing starting this game up to me, is, like, I can do this. I can just look. I can look at all these things. It feels more like a Falcom game, I guess. Like, because Falcom has, like, this distinct style where you can, like, I don't know, like, especially after, like, Trails in the Sky where you can, like, change the camera in certain ways. I didn't feel like you could really do that in Trails in the Sky. Or, I'm sorry, Trails of Cold Steel. But now you can just do whatever you want, which is pretty cool. Um, to name a few major differences, obviously the frames which look really good. There's also the turbo mode, which pretty much is the sole reason 
why this is the definitive version besides the 5,000 extra lines for Reen. I think it's all for Reen, I don't know. Turbo mode is amazing. Um, I'll show why. <laughs> Pretty much you can just skip whatever you want if you've been in the game before. Like, I need to... I'm actually going to be playing the game again, even though I just beat it recently. Just to see all the differences, and also I need a save file for CS2 when I eventually let's play that. So... You can tell some major work went into this, and I really... I don't know how far I'm gonna make, or how long I'm gonna make this video. I do kinda wanna just go through the... The, like, pro... the prologue dungeon. But you can really tell, like, as you can see, everything's 60 FPS and looks fucking amazing. <laughs> um, you can turbo mode the battle as well, so if you want to, like, skip things pretty quick. Um, so one thing I really want to do is, like, I wanted to show off, like, all the moves and stuff. So we can, like, see everything. That's the first thing I did, at least, when I first started playing. Is I was just like, I'm just going to use everything that I have and just, like, see if how everything looks. So, to showcase the, um, we'll go ahead and do Brilliant Spin, because we want to be crazy. Sure. Um, can I? Yeah. Okay. We'll let her do Brilliant Spin, and then we'll... But yeah, this is going to be kind of like a showcase. Um, I, I feel like I was, like, rambling on super hard, but... Um, I started playing this, like, as soon as it released on Steam, and, like... I was like, I was just blown away, because I, I really like this game. I'm sure you guys know I really like this series a lot. I love talking about it, I love making videos about it, and just to see such an amazing um, port done to this game is like, I don't know, it just blew me away. Everyone looks better, all the cutscenes look better. More lines. I mean, you can't even... I don't even see how you can really complain about this port. It's just so good. <laughs> there isn't, like... From what I've seen, I haven't seen very many issues at all. So... Like, I could talk about this all day long, because it's so good. So yeah, FOV. The FOV is so good. Look at this. You could not do this in the PS3 version at all. It's amazing. It's my favorite thing. Um... <laughs> It's just so good. They did add a, um, a, uh, this is on max settings, by the way, I should mention. I am playing this on 1080p, 60fps, max settings. Um, there is a 120fps or, like, more than 60fps option, but I've heard in the, um, the blog post that they posted up that is pretty, um, use at your own risk kind of thing. Like, there may be problems with it, so... That's a thing. Also, you can just do turbo mode whenever you want, so in battles you can use it. Um, yeah, just everyone looks so much better. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and show that off in this battle, how battles can just be way faster. Because in the original, they were pretty slow and load times and everything. The load times are like non-existent now. Um, and now you can just like do whatever you want. So like, boom. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay, that's okay. Whatever. So, arts, hey, let's do... Oh, no, I should, probably shouldn't have aimed for that middle one, I'm dumb. <laughs> yeah, why not? My turn. Aim for this guy. So, you can just speed everything up. It goes really, really fast and you're done. We're done. <laughs> That's how fast everything is in this game. <laughs> That's what, kind of why I consider this the uh, definitive version. It's like, you can just zoom past everything. And, like, in the PS3 version, it's like a slog. Which I can understand being, like, kind of a low point for people. I really don't mind because I love the battle system in this game. But I can understand it being quite a slog. And, um... In this game, it pretty much just rectifies all that. So... It's really... Oh, what am I doing? I was trying to... <laughs> I was trying to run away so I can get a... Good attack on him. Oh, well. It's okay, we need to show off more people. Oh, Marine's not even in the party. Crap. Oh, well. Oh, well. Um, yeah, that's fine. We can deal with this. Let's see what we can do. So, I kind of want to show off a lot of the, uh, the crafts. Um, I don't know how 
far into this I'm gonna go, but I do want to show off a good amount of things, so we'll see. But yeah, everything's just so good. Like, you can just, you can just go boom, 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 and you're done. Woo, fight. F what a great fight that was. And I thought Torbro mode was just going to be for the battles, but it's just whenever you want. So you can just zoom through the game, and I can think of a certain uh, place later in the game, <coughs> Nord Highlands, that is going to be a breeze for new players on the PC, because it was not very fun for us on the PS3. Um, it does actually make me feel bad, because I really wish I waited on doing this game for this version. I wish I knew it was coming out, like, a year ago. And I would have waited and did this version of the game, because it's so good. <laughs> um, so I really gotta give props to to exceed on this port, because it's just, it's really fucking good. I can't say it enough, it's just really good. So you can you can take your time, obviously, just as you did before. Everything's just a lot faster. Um, the load times, the save times. Like you, one thing I want to show off also, um, I do have a save here. So if I save here, in the original version, there was like a there was a save time, and then there was like a save like if I l save system data, that took like a minute. Not not really. That's over exaggeration. It took like 15 seconds, I think, for that to finish. In this game, it's like, done. It's instant. It's just so good. <laughs> that was always like a, a little, like, pet peeve of mine. It was like, this is saving the system data, saving the game. It's like, you gotta do that twice, really? So that's like the one other thing I'm really happy about, is like the system data. It's like nothing. It's like an instant. So, I'm really happy about that. And for people, like, I'm starting to play the game again. I was planning on, like, skipping a lot of things. Obviously, I want to hear the, the the new lines and stuff. But I started, like, just going like this whenever I want to. And just skipping a lot of stuff. But I also am enjoying just playing the game normally. So I'm not really skipping as many cutscenes as I thought I would. But things like this, you can just be like, oh, I'm just going to turbo mode this. Oh, man, the guns. Whoa! And you can just go, woo. Emmer deer. <laughs> That's how cool it is. Um, also, I should mention that my recording can be a little weird. I did record a like a test video earlier, and it is a little like jumpy, but the game does run perfectly, so don't go off just that. Um, I do want to show off S crafts as well, so we're going to be doing that in this battle. So let's go ahead and. Uh... Probably can't do anything right now. Um, I think I'll just attack normally and then I'm just gonna blow up. My turn. But I do want to show off like everything, so we're gonna be showing off everything. There you go. Sarah being awesome as always. Um, let's just blow up. Who cares? <laughs> like, who cares? Um, I may show off a little bit of things after this, because there are, like, like the in-town segments. I might show a little bit of Trista. But we'll see. Might as well just go all out and just blow them up. Just so we can see everyone's S-Craft. This is like the only time you get to see Sarah, Sarah's and uh, Emma's S craft, like until like a lot later. <laughs> like you see them so, you get those two like a long time from the beginning. So you might as well use them now. Also, I do I n I never noticed that until I did it in my test recording, but they changed Emma's S craft for a certain reason, and that's really cool. I don't I never noticed that. I never knew about that. So that's a really cool thing, and everything, like, I keep I keep repeating myself a little bit, but everything just looks better. So, and it just runs really good, like, I, I haven't run into any hiccups, and the, the frames haven't dropped. Like, I don't, I can't find anything bad to say <laughs> about this port. It's just really good. 
I mean, Cold Steel has never been like a very like heavy game in terms of graphics. So it's not like it's not like it requires like a crazy good PC. I mean, mine's pretty old at this point. It still runs really good at max settings and no frames dropping and everything. Just really good. And I can say that for for 20 minutes straight. I can keep saying it, but just how it is. Um, but yeah, I really just wanted to make this video to kind of showcase this and just pretty much point out how good it is. Um, I know people who follow me got into the trail series because of me and just people who, I don't know, like who knew about the series and like the Let's Plays and stuff. I want to showcase how good this port is and tell you that this is the definitive version of this game and be like, hey, if you want to play this game again or you have never played it before, buy this version because it's worth it. Literally like an 80 hour game, 35 bucks right now on Steam, it's 50 cents, 50 cents per hour. So in my opinion, very much worth it. Um, it is only for this week that is a 10% off. So, I'd recommend picking it up pretty soon. Otherwise, you can wait for a deal because Falcom games usually go on a deal pretty regularly. I see them on deals a lot of the time and I usually retweet them on Twitter. So, that's kind of a thing. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, I can't... Can I skip this? Yeah. Because I do want to show off like a little bit of the, uh, the school segment and then... Then we'll probably be good. Didn't want to make this a super long video or anything. I just kind of wanted to show it off. And the intro is a good way to show things off because it just kind of throws you in. And it's really cool. So. There's a really fast train. Don't worry about it. And um, I'm thinking also. Um, I do need to. Because they did announce that Cold Steel 2 is coming to PC. So I'm definitely waiting for that now that I've seen this. how good this port is. I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to wait, because it's that good. The um, of Railways wishes the next stop we will be... Okay, I'm going to skip most of this. So, I'm going to be waiting for CS2. I do need to get a save file from this game to... to get into CS2, just so I have, like, extra things when I start. So I'm probably going to be streaming this game and um, going through it again. Um, I'm probably going to be playing on my own as well, just I'm not going to be streaming the whole thing or anything. But if you want to watch me uh, play this game again, or just want to know how it's going, um, I may stream it every now and then. It's not going to be like a full playthrough on Twitch or anything, but it's going to be like every now and then kind of thing. So that's something to expect if you're interested. Um, my li the links to my Twitch channel are always in the description of every video. So just click in the description and follow if you're interested. So, there you go. Hey, it's Trista. Trista's looking amazing. I don't know, like... I'm, I'm biased, obviously. This is my favorite series. This is my favorite game series. I'm very biased, I know. But, like, I can't... I've gone through the prologue at, at least. Um, which is a decent chunk. And I can't find anything bad. I can't find any glitches so far. <laughs> and there might be. You know, there there, there might be. I'm, I'm not like a crazy amount in or anything, but... Never seen so many speeding through the game, like going like, Hey, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna skip all this blah blah blah. And then there's no like glitches in the middle of it. Like at the end of it or anything. There's just nothing. It's like, it just runs good. The frames are perfect. Like, I, I just, I can't find anything bad. The only bad thing, it's not a bad thing to me, but I do see a lot of people that always complain about this series, is there's no Japanese dub, and, you know, you can you can say that, I see a lot of people that bring that up as a, um, as a reason not to buy a game, and I think that's dumb. I personally think that's ridiculous. Because you're obviously interested in the game. You obviously want to know about it and want to check it out. But if you're going to let something like, hey, no Japanese voices, no buy kind of thing stop you from exploring a good game, then 
don't know, I just think, I just think that's dumb. Especially with how well done the dub is in this game. And trust me, I've been there. I've been in my weeb days. I know, I know what it's like to be like, hey, I love, I love the Japanese voices. I need to have them, otherwise I cannot live. Um, I've been there. I know. But, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little small thing. It's like, it, also, you can never do this on the PS3 version, by the way. Just spinning the camera around and doing all this. Looks so good. I'm gonna give you a little small bit of, it's not really advice, just a little thing from me. Don't let something so petty stop you from enjoying a great game. And also, if, if you like the series, support it, you know? People work hard to bring it over, and it's not, it's still got a bit to go. Trails of Cold Steel 3 is coming. Um, Trails of Zero and Trails of Al are still a thing that are on the table. And if you're really interested in the series, you shouldn't let something like that hold you back on buying it. Um... I mean, if you're not willing to buy it because of that, you're obviously not interested in the series. So, I don't want to, I don't want to, like, rant about that, but I just think it's kind of a dumb thing to make a big deal out of it. You can obviously, you can always turn off the voices if you don't want to listen to the English dub. I've heard, I've heard people say, like, the English dub to them is, uh, quote unquote cringeworthy, and, uh, <laughs> just, um, they cannot stand it. I don't really get that impression, personally. I actually think it's one of the most well-done dubs. Especially in CS2, where a lot of the battle lines are redone and stuff. I feel like a lot of heart's heart is put into it. So I really recommend it. Um, I really love this dub. I really okay. love the voice Looks actors. Like even a park here. Especially Reen. I think Reen has a perfect voice. And Seems like the perfect this suddenly turned into a rant about this whole dub thing, because I saw a few... Um, I saw a few, I always see like whenever I look things up and like look up like little reviews and stuff of Trail series, I always see that one, I always, well it's not one, I see quite a few of people talk about how like, hey, no Japanese dub, no buy. And, you know, fair point. Can't really convince you. If you really don't want to buy it because of that, you know, whatever, that's She's your prerogative. But, I feel like you should at least give it a chance. You know, because there's some real heart in this game. It's not my favorite in the series, but there is heart put into it. This voice acting, in my opinion, is really, really good. And there's my three minute rant of that. <laughs> so there you go. And I wouldn't, obviously I'm biased, but I wouldn't say that unless I really cared. And... Uh, I don't. I don't feel that's a bad thing to be biased, mm. but guess I better go. I don't know. You can use that against me. You can say I'm biased, but I don't really think that's a bad thing. I really do think it's very good. And I don't know. That, that's pretty much all I can really say on the subject. That's like the one thing I've seen of people not wanting to pick up the game is just no Japanese dub. So I do want to bring that up is, yeah, there is no Japanese dub. So that is like a low point if you consider it a low point. I still highly recommend you pick up the game. You can turn the voices off. You can, um, or you can try it. You can, you can check it out. Because honestly, I think the voices are really good. I think they did a really good job. And that's probably where I'm going to end it off for this time. Um, you can look around a little bit. Um, I can already tell. I, I feel like my recording's going to be a little jumpy on this part. So, I just want to clarify that the game does run really good. It's just my recording can be a little jumpy. So, that's pretty much it though. I, did, I do really wish I got to record this game on just this version because it's just really good. But I will be streaming this game probably pretty often just to get through it again and it just looks really good look like all this fov all the fov look at it it's just so good look at this girl sweeping outside all right it's a really good port i highly recommend it 35 dollars on steam 
It's on GOG, I think, and Humble Store, I believe. $35 for the first week, $40 regular. Um, there will be a Falcom discounts if you're interested, but this is kind of where I wanted to stop it. Just wanted to show off the battle system, show off a few S crafts, show off normal crafts. But yeah, I think that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, if you're interested in the series, go check it out. I do recommend you start off with Trails in the Sky, but you can also start off with this game. It really is not the biggest deal in the world, but I do... But if you want to understand everything, I do recommend you play Trails in the Sky first. But this is a fucking amazing port, and Exceed did an amazing job, as always. And I love Exceed so much, and they're great. Falcom also, top tier, really good. Um, I will always support, and I will always uh, spread the word, pretty much. Because I, I just enjoy both of them so much. So, Exceed, please... Actually, please sponsor me. I need, I need the money. Okay, so that is pretty much it. This is not a sponsored video, by the way. I'm making this of my own volition. So this is not paid for or anything. It's just me talking about how good a port this is. <laughs> so that's pretty much it, though. Thank you for watching. I do recommend you go pick this up, and um, I really enjoy it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what this video is. Just being like, hey, this is cool. Go buy it. So there you go. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the normal videos, and maybe on stream, so maybe I'll see you there. So see you guys next time.